ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு லேர்ன் பாசிட்டிவ் வித் பிரதீப் குமார் இஃப் யூ வாட்சிங் மை சேனல் லைக் ஷேர் கமெண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் கிளிக் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டுடே சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் ப்ராசஸ் யூனிட் ஒன் ஃபவுண்டி டெக்னாலஜி பார்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சி ப்ரீவியஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் கிளிக் த ஐ பட்டன் ஆன் த டாப் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ இட் வில் ஷோ த ப்ளே லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் சப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சி அனதர் அதர் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் விசிட் மை சேனல் அண்ட் டு சி ஆல் த வீடியோஸ் டோன்ட் ஃபார்கெட் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் today topic is melting furnace what is melting furnace the furnace is a device used to melt the metal by uh, increasing its temperature above the melting point uh, it is known as melting furnace and the furnace can be fired by using coal gas oil and electricity by using this the furnace is going to be heated according to the size of the Uh, furnace and type of the metal to be melted uh, the following uh, the following furnace are used following types of furnace are used the types of furnaces are blast furnace copolo furnace crucible furnace in crucible furnace we have three types that is pit type furnace coke fired stationary furnace oil fired tilting furnace and electric furnace in electric furnace we have three types direct arc furnace indirect arc furnace induction furnace these are the types of furnace and today we are going to see about blast furnace so this is the image of blast furnace it is the plant setup of the blast furnace you can see the blast furnace at the center and the in the right side there there was three cylinders the cylinders are going to be create the hot gas and Uh, we are going to supply the hot gas into the furnace and melt the molten uh, iron iron ores and this is the schematic diagram of that uh, cylinder and the furnace uh, how it was work uh, working and this is the schematic diagram i am going to explain about the blast furnace and first we are going to see about what is blast furnace how it look like so the blast furnace is a large steel structure about 30 meter height and it is lined with refractory fire bricks that can be withstand up to 2000 degree celsius at high temperature preheated air about 1000 degree celsius is blasted into the furnace through the uh, nozzles near its base the preheated air is created at the cylinders as, as i shown before the iron ore coke and flux Uh, we are using limestone as the flux here or changed into the top sorry or charged in, uh, at, into the top and then the blast of the heated air is introduced through the opening at the bottom of the furnace and the heat air is burns the coke ch- charged coke from the top to produce the heat required by the process and to provide reducing gas and removing oxygen from the iron ore the reduction of uh, the, the reduced iron metal or and run run down to the bottom of the furnace the flux combines with the impurities in the ore to be produced a slag which also melts and accumulate on the top of the liquid iron so it is like a milk and milk as the la- if we heated the milk we get a Uh, layer at the top of the milk like that here uh, the iron ore iron ore is getting into molten iron and the slags are formed uh, at the top of the iron uh, liquid iron, molten iron the iron and slag are drained out of the furnace through the tap holes at the bottom of the furnace and now see the schematic diagram the green color i mentioned at the top is the hopper uh, from the top we are going to charge the coke iron ore and limestone from the top of the furnace and then we are going to blast the hot air uh, it was shown a blue blue color in the image so through that bottom pipelines we are going to blast the hot air about 1000 degree celsius the hot air is going to react with the coke and heated the coke to fire the coke the coke was fired and heated up to 2000 degree celsius nearly 2000 degree celsius at the uh, degree of 1800 degree celsius the metal is going to be melted the iron ore is going to be melted with 
the flux that is limestone and the impurities in the limestone impurities in the limestone and the iron ore is combined to form the slag and the metal was uh, melted the molten metal is uh, comes to the bottom of the furnace and the slag is form uh, form on the top of the molten metal and now we are going to and uh, after th after this uh, heating process the hot waste gas was exhausted from the top of the uh, top of the furnace it was shown in the uh, pink color so the hot gas was removed from the furnace and now we are going to remove the molten slag first so the molten the tap hole for slag is opened and the molten uh, slag was removed first and then we are going to open the tap hole for iron so after removing the tap hole of iron the molten metal is uh, gathered uh, gathered in the crucible and and then and then we can use it for the casting purpose so friends if you like this video like share and don't forget to subscribe thank you friends